The hurdle that we selected was when to stop immunotherapy, and the, the reason that's a huge hurdle is that um, in melanoma, and hopefully in more and more histologies as immunotherapy is, uh, is developed, um, and we have new immunotherapies that are more effective in lung cancer and kidney cancer, we're going to see more and more patients that are achieving a very durable uh, either remission or stability of disease. And we're, you know, very concerned about using the word cure, but we are inching towards um, the, the potential that we are curing patients. The problem is that many of the clinical trials, such as the phase three trials in melanoma, um, either treated patients indefinitely in the case of nivolumab, or they uh, treated patients for two years in the case of and it's not really known if you need that much therapy um, or if we could actually get away with significantly less therapy. And the, the reason why that's a big issue is obviously these drugs cost uh, a small fortune. So they're you know, personally, uh, uh, financially toxic to patients. They're you know, financially toxic to society as well. And also we think that you know, the longer you use these therapies, we know from the data that the more chance you have of developing a immune-related toxicity. So you may be um, getting more drug than you actually need and having all of the, the physical and financial toxicities associated with that overuse.